Uh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Should be dry enough. I told you. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No. It'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? You know I could do so much more. You said the same thing then, and look where it brought us. Just. Promise me you'll think about it. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. Alfred. What? Aren't you supposed to get water? I am not keen on eating rotten leaves tonight. Alfred! Don't mind him, dear. Boys must act tough if they want to get by. Is that so? And how's my little girl holding up? I don't have time for holding up. I have to cut up our dinner. You're a steadfast lass, Martha. Thank you. Oh, stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Did you see a river nearby? No, it's just woods. <sighs> Any idea where I could find some water? Papa, no. I'm doing my job and you have to do yours. Anything else would be unfair. I'll be right back. I know. Once I've found some, that's where it'll go. 
hungry. I'm fine. I like Salisbury. I wish we had stayed. Can you see the sun yet? No, but Martha... Don't distract me. I'm working. Just don't stroll too far. Couldn't I get a job when we arrive in Shiring? You're a little girl. You can all help. We'll get through this together. Should be enough. And I just need to break the ice. <clears throat> Too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. Need something harder, like my pot. <clears throat> Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. Oh. I could do so much better. But I have to feed my family. Beautiful. And did you think about what I asked you? Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. 
Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof? Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> So, of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. Right. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, Teach them all. Like this. <laughs> Mama. Is coming. But it's not due. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. Children? Calm down, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. Let us help. Alfred. Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. More wood? I can do it. Let me. Let Martha do it. I'll be quick. It, it'll take forever before she's back. Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. Let me cover you. Warn them for you. No. Stay here. Please. <sighs> I'm here with you. I know. The water's warm now. Put it next to me.
it, it's the fire better now? Can you feel the warmth? Yes. Remember when Martha was born, and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. <laughs> and she took us to our own chamber, and poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. But why are you talking about that now? She's bleeding. Right, what can I do to help? Stay with me. Will she die? She'll die, right? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> it's not long now. Be ready. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. I oh, know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I am proud of you. I feel so weak. You'll make it. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. Two of a kind, eh? She's losing too much blood. <laughs> I'm sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. It's coming! Help me, Tom! I can see it. 